Hi there, Coral with Allergy Reality Inspiration. Today I'm here with Natalie, who's making a big impact in the world with the things that she's struggling with. And so Natalie, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're going through in your life? Sure, so I ate everything as a child and when I was 20 years old, I became anaphylactic to six foods um, in my 20s. So those six foods are soy, peanuts, tree nuts, not all tree nuts, sorry, almonds and hazelnuts, um, carrots and peaches. Those are my six foods that I'm anaphylactic to. Now I also have oral allergy syndrome, so I can't eat oh. many fruits, vegetables, herbs, spices, so my food is limited. Wow, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> that is so hard. So how do you stay positive through it all? Sure, I think that um, having the community, you know, surrounded that um, have food allergies and know what you're going through is really important, which is kind of what led me to start my organization, No Nuts For Me. And so I have a big Instagram account with it and it just kind of, I created a community. <laughs> it's just No Nuts For Me on Instagram and this community just really helps me stay positive and I get to see so many other people with food allergies and the blog that is, um, connected to the Instagram, you know, people are always thanking me for like, you know, helping them and, you know, making sure that they know that they're not alone. And the fact that I get to help others is what helps me stay positive. About that is it. so good. We all need to learn more from Natalie. <laughs> so Natalie, what can you eat? So with six foods that I'm anaphylactic to and severe oral allergy syndrome, the amounts of food I can eat are very, very small. So I am currently doing treatment for environmental allergies, so hopefully the list will grow. But as of right now, the only fruit I eat is grapes, wow. and only the red grapes. And um, yeah, and for vegetables, I eat potatoes, white potatoes and sweet potatoes baked in the oven. And then I eat pasta every single day and rice. And I can eat dairy, so I usually do like mac and cheese usually or something like that. Yeah, and wow. that's what I eat every single day. So, so a couple things that you mentioned. You said only red grapes. So, what does green grape do? So, technically, I'm supposed to be able to eat all the grapes, where I'm only comfortable eating the red grapes. I don't know. I feel like the green grapes make me a little bit itchy. So, okay. I don't know why. But and yeah. then you also that's said, way, yes. <laughs> wow, you also said that you bake your potatoes. Is there something like you can't boil or like? You just not prefer that. that. I just I prefer for it to be really fully cooked because if okay. not, I will react. And oh. also, like, um, I, I can't add spices in this, you know, things like that, only salt. So I'm not going to, you know, just oh, wow. cut up potatoes, put them in the oven and just eat them. You know, a baked yeah. potato makes the most sense because I can just put salt on it. I can't put paprika and pepper and stuff so like that. So do you ever eat out? No, not at all. I haven't eaten out in over a year. So you always pack a bag? Yes. I always have always, always pack a bag or eat at home or yeah. So anyway. everything revolves around food. You have any event and they just say, okay, food, this and this, and you always have desserts and different things going on. How do you, how do you deal with that? How do you respond to that? I just don't eat. I feel like it's easier for everyone and less anxiety causing for me to just not eat and not worry about it because you know, it's just, it's absolutely impossible. Like so many foods I'm allergic to cross contamination, oh, you know, such a real even thing. when I go out to restaurants, I don't no. order a cup of water even because I don't know who drank from that cup. I don't know how clean it is. Like so you don't true. know, like what if someone ate a peanut and then took a sip and for some reason there's a crumb of a peanut, you don't know. You don't. So no. not even that when I'm out in restaurants no. and it's just, it's the safest way to go. Less anxiety for me, less worries for everyone there. How does your family and friends take on that? Um, they, a lot of them will feel like awkward at restaurants with me because mm -hmm. they feel bad that I can't eat. Right. But I try to tell them, you know, like, it's just less stress yeah. for everyone. Right. For me, like yeah. I just feel so much better not eating. Cause if I were to eat with you, like there's probably 90% chance I'm gonna react to something and yeah. I would rather just not deal with it. Yeah. And it's just better that way. Um, so Natalie, what are you doing now to help inform the world? So besides the No Nuts For Me Instagram and blog, I'm producing a documentary right now. The documentary is on food allergies and it will include interviews with top doctors, researchers, wow. and lawyers in the field, as well with, um, you know, people who have food allergies and people who are trying to make a difference, just like you guys are with the Allergy Reality yes. app. Wonderful. That yeah. is awesome. I cannot wait for this. Yeah. You guys, 
Natalie is the real deal. <laughs> Follow her on No Nuts for Me, and we just can't wait to see this documentary live. Thank you. And if you do want sneak peeks of the documentary oh. before it is released, you can go onto the No Nuts for Me Instagram. Oh, and wonderful. There's a link to our blog, and you just subscribe, and you will get emails um, with videos of interviews with top doctors and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Before and I the release. That is so fun, and I've had a little sneak peek in that, and it is so amazing. It's gonna be inspiring to all and everyone, no matter what you have, or intolerance, allergy, celiac disease, so, or what, you're gonna to wanna to tune in and watch yes. this. So that's, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Natalie. Thank you.